Now I get this request quite a bit to come through on uh, on chats uh, via email sometimes. Um, so I just want to actually just create a very quick video about how you actually solve it. Now, in a lot of cases, dates can be sorted one way from your date table. They might be sorted alphabetically, which uh, they are currently uh, here for the months, or they might be sorted by calendar year. But a lot of issue, a lot of the issues that people have is that they want to sort it by financial year, right? Because sometimes your financial year is actually basically the first start is the start, first month of your of your year, and you want to be able to showcase that as the very first month here. So I'm just going to show you how you can quickly solve this. The first thing I'm going to do to showcase this is I'm going to show you well, how do you actually just sort anything? How do you sort any column which uh, gets input as in alphabetical order, how do you actually sort it in any way, shape or form? In this case, we want to sort initially by calendar date. So if I jump to my date table, you'll see here that I had these supporting columns, right, which create the number for the actual month. So what I'm going to do is uh, I've got my month here, my month on the right hand side. I'm going to sort this column by my month of year here. So I'm going to go to the modeling tab and then I'm going to go sort by column and I'm going to sort by month of year. Now, if I jump back here, you'll see now that this is, this is January, February, March, April, May, it's actually in the right sort order. But what if I wanna change this to financial year? Well, if I wanna change it to financial year, what we need to do is we need to create another column like this that we can sort this column by, right? So we need to create a new column and we need to write some logic in here. We need to put in some logic which will create, will make this seven equal to one, something like that. Okay, so I'm going to put a financial, I'm gonna call this financial year sort, financial year sort. And I'm gonna just write a simple if statement. I'm gonna go if the month of the year. So I'm gonna go and just find the, I'm gonna go month date. So if the month of the date is greater than six, I want it to equal to the month of the date minus six. And then if it is, so if it's six or less, I want it to just equal the month of the date. So similar logic, but instead of minus, I'm gonna actually go plus, right? I'm just gonna go plus six. And then I'm going to close that off. And then now you'll see, well, the uh, the seventh month, so say July is the first, first month of our financial year, the seventh month is now one. And if we go down here, we've got two, we've got three, so on and so forth. And now if I wanted to change this month to be sorted by this, I then just select this column again, and I change the sort column to financial year sort. And then if we jump back in here, you'll see that now July, August, September, etc., is the order of our months. So that's how you actually fix it. Now, here with quarters, we've got a bit more to do, right? We've got a little bit more to do. We've got to uh, write logic, which suggests that if um, if a quarter is three, we want it to equal one, for example. What we've got here with this date table is I've already got the quarter of year, right? And I'm gonna show you a simpler way to even do that. So essentially, all we've gotta do is a very similar logic, but instead of you know working with months, we're just working with a number here. So I'm going to create another column, and I'm gonna go, go quarter, uh, quarters sort, and I'm gonna go if the quarter of year, if the quarter of year is greater than two, then I want this number to be the quarter of year, quarter of year minus two. And if it's not, then I want it to equal to quarter of year plus two. And then I'm gonna close it off, push enter, and then I'm gonna find my quarter here, and I'm gonna sort my quarter by the quarter sort. And then if I jump back, you'll see now we've got quarter three, quarter four, quarter one, quarter two. Okay, so, <clears throat> From now on, if uh, someone requests this, this is, this is the exact video which I'm gonna direct them to, but hopefully that solves an issue for, um, uh, for a lot of people out there. It's a it's, you, know, you might think it's a relatively difficult fix, 
um, but if you have a date table and then you have these um, and you just create a little bit of logic to make to do those sort orders uh, then it's actually yeah it's actually not that difficult to fix so um, so hopefully that's um, that's that's a benefit to a lot of you uh, all the best with it and uh, I'll, I'll speak to you in the next video